Let's take a look at number 27. Um, D is equal to 3 square root of 5. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the answers. I'm assuming. <laughs> Let's try it again. 27. There we go. Okay, square root of 2. I was thinking that was going to be a pretty hard problem the way it was kind of worded. Square root of 3 and negative square root of 8 and negative square root of 2 or 12. Now always you should simplify your your radicals before you do anything. And 2 and 3 are prime, so I can't do anything with them. But 8. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Now we're looking for pairs of something. Here's a pair of 2, so a pair of 2 is going to come out in front. So that's going to give us negative 2, and we're left with a single 2 inside. Now over here we also have a pair of 2's. They're going to come out in front as a single 2. So that's going to give us a negative 2 square root of 3. Now I'm going to label these. This will be uh, x1, y1 is my first point. This will be x2, this will be y2. This is my second point. Our formula for distance is d is equal to the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. So we've got d is equal to y2, we said was negative 2, square root of 3, minus y1, which is square root of 3, squared, plus x2, which is negative 2, square root of 2, minus x1, which is square root of 2, squared. Now let me double check that real quick. Okay. Um, now, since they have the same radicals, in this case, square root of 3, square root of 3, we add or subtract the numbers in front. Negative 2 and negative 1 gives us negative 3 square root of 3 squared. Same thing here. These radicals are the same. Both square root of 2. So we add or subtract the numbers in front. Negative 2 and negative 1 gives us negative 3 square root of 2 squared. Now since everything is multiplication inside this parentheses and you're raising it to a power, you can take the negative 3 to the second power and the square root of 3 to the second power. And same thing here, negative 3 to the second power and a square root of 2 to the second power. So we're going to have negative 3 squared and square root of 3 squared plus negative 3 squared and square root of 2 squared. Now negative 3 squared is 9 and a square root and a second power cancel each other so that gives me 3 plus negative 3 squared is 9 and again the square root and the second power cancel each other and gives me 2. So then 9 times 3 is 27 plus 18 times 2 is 18. Uh, what's that add to? 5, 2, 3, 4. Always want to simplify. 45 is 3 times 3 times 5. Now we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 3's. So a pair of 3's is going to come out in front as a single 3. Then we get 3 square root of 5. Now our midpoint. Our midpoint, you add together your x parts. So we've got square root of 2 and negative 2 square root of 2. Divide by 2. And you add together your y parts. Square root of 3 and negative 2 square root of 3 divided by 2. Again, if the radicals are the same, you add or subtract the numbers in front. So we've got the invisible 1 here. 1 minus 2 is negative 1 or negative square root of 2 over 2. And this one, we've got 1 minus 2, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. Now 
And um, 27. 3 squared of 5. 3 squared of 5. Negative squared of 2 and negative 3 squared of 2. Okay, so that checks on that one.